Hello artist, how are you today? It's Stephanie Oni coming to you once again from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Ozzy and I welcome you to the studio. Ozzy, you gonna say hi? Come here. You gonna say hi? Come here. Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> We're not, I'm not gonna dig out the balls right now. No. He wants me to get under the shelves to get his balls. <sighs> He's been a little obsessive today. Uh, I don't blame him. I worked late last night, so he is uh, a little bored. It's been raining for the last couple days, so here we go. Here is the front cover of our altered book. So we'll do the back cover next week. Uh, hopefully this is all going to fit into one 30-minute video. I do show you how to make the stencil. And then I just had a lot of fun with the Ranger Pearls, with the uh, Luminaire Paints, and uh, is it Lumiere or Luminaire? Well, I don't know how you say the word, which is not unusual, right? Uh, here's the Liquid Pearls Ranger, and these are Jacquard. Uh, so I have sets of those listed down in the Amazon links, and if you do go onto Amazon through those links, Amazon does give me a couple pennies, so I really do appreciate you using them. Uh, what else do we have going on? We have to give a shout out to the Patreons, of course. Thank you so much for your support. You guys really are awesome, and you are definitely 100% helping to, um, you know, fund my art endeavor, and, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying all of the goodies that you've received. I do, um, I don't want to go into too much about it, but if you're interested in Patreon, please do check it out. The link is down also in the comments. And what else? What else should we say? Um, I, I'm, I'm sporting the bathrobe this morning. It's not this morning. I think it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> honestly. Um, it was nice to be able to sleep in a little bit today. Uh, the Oswald let me sleep finally. So that was good. Uh, the job is going well. And, uh, you know, hopefully the universe will work itself out one way or the other, right? So, I'm just uh, putting a little bit of glue on this page as I'm sitting here talking with you guys. Ozzy, quit obsessing over your balls. <gasps> what? What are you barking at? There's nothing to bark at. A kid. A kid. A kid. It's a rainy day here. Fall is coming quickly. It is. This is like, it went from 100 degrees to, I think it's probably about 67 degrees out there today. It's really nice. We have the door open. It's nice and, well, since it's been rainy, it's just everything's clean. A little overcast. Anyways, enough blah, blah, blah for me. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for your comments. Please subscribe. Please share this and add to playlists. I really do appreciate that. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day, and we'll chat soon. All right, bye. Mwah. I don't know if Oz wants to go check. He, I tried to move and then he um, scooched closer onto my lap. I think he's liking seeing. All of these birds are just hanging out. I hope they're not going after the hummingbirds. Yeah, I hope they're not going after the hummingbirds. The hummingbirds are cool. Okay, so, um, I am thinking about how I want to do these. I've cut out okay, my Okay, artists, since it is a full book, it's time now to do the cover. And I want to start out with doing, um, a base layer of texture paste and the reason for this is that I want um, do I want the blue or the purple um, I really want to have the book be as protected as possible now this is some of my texture paste this is actually texture paste that I made months ago and it is still doing good. I had to take a little bit off of the edges. I figured since we were down to the last of it, we'll just mix this up. So these are actually mica powders that I got a while back. 
Um, I don't remember which brand they are, and they don't say what brand they are, but I'm going to add some mica powder to this also. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's cool stuff. Pretty, 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 pretty stuff. Um, I think I will have a link to this. I'm not sure uh, if I do or not. I don't think I currently have one. I'm just mixing some different blues in here. Now, if you are uh, curious about this texture paste, um, I would definitely suggest making your own. It's very easy to do. I do have a texture paste video. Uh, we will link that. Um, I will link that in the comments. Um, you know, I really haven't tried to um, color texture paste like this before, so this is new, new ground for me. Um, but texture paste is basically one part gesso, one part Mod Podge, and two parts of talc, baby powder. Um, some people have used, you know, different building materials. Um, uh, like a plaster or, you know, there's different things that you can use as your base powder. I use um, baby powder and that has worked really well for me uh, about those other things. I don't really know how it works. So um, yeah, again, there is a video for that. That was just kind of a chunkiness in there. And I don't really want these chunks. When you make it up, you can make it to your own consistency. You know, the stuff that they have in the stores, I'm going to try to add some of this purple. The stuff that they have in the stores is actually very liquid. So um, it takes longer to dry. When you make your own, you can really um, decrease the drying time. Oh, look at that color. <laughs> the breeze was blowing something on my desk and it caused me to flinch. There was nothing, nothing there on my desk. And so I have to laugh at myself because I act like a little girl sometimes, but it startled me. And we have creatures here, you know that. Okay, so this is kind of a cool slate gray color. And this is going to work really nicely for what I want to put over the top of it. Um, we are not going to continue to use my wonderful little spreader. This is a great tool, guys. This is a um, silicone brush. It's a one and a half inch chisel brush. It is great. Um, but let's see here. Well, maybe it will work out okay. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not getting stuff on my cityscape that's inside of there. Don't want to hurt any of the illustrations. Don't want to make too much of a mess. So I guess this is the better way to do it. I was going to grab a credit card or, you know, an old gift card. You could do it that way. I am wanting to leave some texture to this. Uh, I don't want a ton of texture as I will be layering more texture, but I want something interesting, something cool back in here. That's any more. So I was like, oh gosh, there's so much to do. So we are going to put it here on the front. We're going to try not to put it into, um, you know, we want this to still fold where it's supposed to fold. Something like that. I've always loved this kind of cornflower blue color. You see it's already drying. There's a clip. A gloop. A glop. A glop a glick is what it is. We don't want any glops of glick. Or we want to minimize the glops of glick. I think this is going to be so cool. I hope. I think it will. I think it'll be really cool. Gosh, my silicone brush again. I don't know where that thing keeps disappearing to. 
it runs away more often than what I like to admit. So, um, you know, the first time that I used this white sand texture paste, I wasn't really thrilled with it. But then when I did the um, 30 times three project and used this texture paste there, it turned out really phenomenal. So um, I am going to use that this time once again because I think it's a great product. It leaves a very sparkly uh, residue behind. Now, um, I could also use my crackle paste, which is what I had first grabbed. Um, I could just use more of the regular texture paste colored in a different color. I could use kind of whatever I want to here. Um, don't think that you have to go and buy this exact product unless you really like the effect that it gives. Effect, effect, effect. Um, I think it's pretty phenomenal, personally. Um, when I used this texture paste, with my 30 times three, it turned out really cool and white and sparkly. And this is not really cool, white and sparkly. So we are going to see what we can do about that. Actually, let's um, play with some paint color here. This is a, a new Princeton synthetic. This Deborah sent me wonderful paintbrush. My last one was getting pretty old. It still had held up pretty well considering how much it had been used. Um, where is my old one? I don't know where my old one is. But I'm going to pull some of this uh, blue from the tops down. Now, we want to be careful that I'm not painting my pages, of course. We might be doing a little bit of painting the pages because we do want it to look right. But we want to be careful with that. And as you know, I am definitely in love with these liquid acrylics. Do you have to just use Lumiere? No, not at all. Uh, you know, use whatever liquid acrylics you have. Um, these were actually pretty reasonable in cost. Uh, could you use like texture paste or, uh, I'm sorry, ink sprays, like your Delusions sprays? Probably. Uh, but we're also looking for the sealing properties here. Wowza! Now, also to let you guys know, I did kind of pick off any part of that texture paste underneath that I didn't want to be there. Um, you know, just makes sense if you don't want something there to let you take it off. It's really a very yellow gold is part of the reason why I hesitate to use it. But when it's wet like this, That's kind of cool. I don't mind that it's doing that. Um, whatever it's doing. Hmm. Trying to decide if I love that. I don't know if I do. It's really pretty though. All right, this is called uh, Stencil Blake's. And uh, this is a heavier plastic. Okay. And uh, we need like a eight and a half by five size. A 
a little bit smaller, honestly. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, this should work a little bit better. We have our center point right there. Okay. Perfect. Now we're gonna leave like a quarter of an inch border or space in there from here to here. All right, let's try this again. Let's grab some tape. Let's grab our little ruler. If we're making 90 degree angles, we're cutting through that, we're doing good. Okay, well, once again, I thought you were recording and you weren't. I'm getting a little bit tired of that happening, but when I can't see the camera because I have it down so low, that's part of what happens. So, um, yeah, not real stoked about that. What I did was I went around and I cut um, to the five inch mark all the way around and um, as you can see, I had that, you know, centered right up in there and, uh, you know, just went through, put my five and a half inch on the ruler here. Um, hopefully you guys got some of that in there. And it's really frustrating that it didn't work once again. Well, you know, I hope it looks okay when I use it. Um... We're gonna pull in our book. It does line up perfectly here. All right, we're gonna try to find the center of this book. There's the four inch mark. And there's the five inch mark. Be two and a half and an eighth. All right, I am going to grab out my gold texture paste. I'm going to try to put this down as well as I can.
All right, I'm putting on a very thick coat because I'm hoping that that will allow it to crackle more. And how did it work? Well, that's how it worked. All right, part of me wants to put some squiggly lines through that, but then on the other hand, um, we're already going to have lines with the um, crackles. So I did a quick tester there to see if I could do it, and I don't want to do it. Oh, gosh. Messing things up. Now that'll be cool. All right, and you know, we will have the liquid pearls to where we can go around it more and do some more decorating. We'll also go in with our blues and our other colors here a little bit more and um, you know, we'll fix this up. Remember, this is just the first coat, so we have room to work. You do not have to use crackle paste with this. You could use regular texture paste. It would probably be easier to use regular texture paste because it's thicker. Um, this crackle paste is a little bit uh, loose of a medium. So go and wash your tools off right away. Uh, hopefully my son ends up looking pretty cool when it's done. Hopefully. It's interesting, but I just hope it looks cool. Okay, guys, well, have a great day, and we'll chat soon. We'll come back, and I'll let you see what it looks like when it's dried. Bye-bye.